tap wearable keyboard and mouse. That's pretty interesting. What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and welcome to another episode of Unboxing Time. Mystery unboxings of cool tech and whatever else anybody has sent me. Oh, we didn't have an episode last month, things got really busy. So this month we're gonna have two episodes. Uh, this is the first one and the other one will come later in the month. Now, if you wanna send anything yourselves, then the address is gonna be in the description below. And if you wanna pick up any of the items, then those links will also be in the description below. Let's get straight to it. Let's start off with this one, just because it's the heaviest here. And it's from Google. Super Surf, that's me. Google, dear Surf, with compliments. Google hardware team. Thank you, Google hardware team. All right, aha. It's a Google Home Max. That is really heavy. They don't call this the Max for no reason. All oh, right, whoa. This is big. Right, so inside the box, uh, we get some paperwork, uh, we get the power adapter, and of course we get the Google Home Max. There's also this uh, kind of base, so we can have it on here and it won't move around. Uh, you can either put it uh, horizontally, or you can even put it vertically. So just kind of going over some of the key features here, uh, works with Android, iOS, Mac, Windows, and Chromebook. So you've got a wide range of things it works with. Of course, it's got Google Assistant built in as well. So you can ask it things like, what's the weather like? Uh, play some music from Spotify. Uh, all of these things will be linked in. And of course, because it is the Max, it's gonna have some awesome sound, very, very loud. I'm gonna be doing some sound tests on this on my Instagram stories. So make sure you go ahead and follow me on there. Cheers, Google. This is absolutely awesome. I always wanted one of these. Right, we have this box here. You can see some boxes here at the side because I've just stacked them up. I don't have any space. Ooh. So here is a case selection for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 from Spigen. Spigen makes some awesome cases. Uh, I feature them many times here on Unboxing Time. Uh, we seem to have a similar collection that we normally have. Uh, my favorite is usually the rugged armor. I think that's a great balance between uh, size and protection. But I also quite like the liquid air. Liquid air, uh, once again, pretty slim overall, but it is military grade drop tested. And we've also got something new here. We've got the NeoFlex premium optical full coverage film. So this is like a screen protector film that's gonna go on the Note 9. I've yet to come across a great screen protector for uh, the Galaxy devices just because they have curved screens. And that does make things difficult when it comes to a screen protector. But I'll test this out and I'll let you know how I get on once again on my Instagram stories. Cheers, Spigen. I uh, do really like your cases. Right, we've got this uh, small box in here. And this is a Mini Plus. Oh, that's a camera. Easy Viz Mini Plus. It's a 1080p full HD Wi-Fi camera. So this uh, should be really cool uh, to kind of keep an eye on your house or wherever you want it to. It's got a micro SD card slot. You can have up to 128 gigabytes. Night vision, cloud recording, optional. That's something that you probably will have to pay. Instant alert, so it's gonna alert you uh, if it notices any motion. And it's got two-way talk, so you can talk as well. So I don't know, maybe uh, if you are away and you've got your kids at home, you could always be like, hey, I'm watching. I'm watching you. Anyway, let's get this bad boy open. They won't. Joking when they said it's mini, that is very small. Right, so inside the box, uh, you get the quick start guide. Uh, you get some adhesive pads if you want to uh, stick this somewhere. Uh, you also get a bracket uh, as well as some screws and some plugs if you want to screw this in somewhere. Then you've got the uh, power adapter as well as a USB type A to micro USB cable. And that's going to be used to power it. So looks pretty decent. Uh, you can move it around using the ball mount here. Seems really straightforward. There's of course going to be the app that goes along with this. Uh, I really like these little cameras. They're so, so useful. Cheers, easy viz. Next package. What is this? Whoa. Tap wearable keyboard and mouse. That's pretty interesting. Thank you for joining the TAP community. We're continuously making improvements to the TAP firmware. Before you use, you must update your TAP using the TAP Manager app, available for iOS and Android. Okay, I'll do that. There's a micro USB to USB type A cable. And we've got a really nice, whoa. Okay, so how does this work? You 
can put these in your fingers, I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and set this up. Two hours later. Right, so we have gone and set this up, which uh, wasn't easy, I have to say. Uh, this case is actually a charging case, so you can put this inside here, and uh, plug it in, and that's gonna charge the attack. Then you can download and install the app, now the thing with this is, it's got a long learning curve. So you might be able to see here that uh, when I've got my thumb on here, it's kind of like I'm using the mouse. So you see this cursor kind of flying around my screen. So it's kind of like using an invisible mouse, which is interesting. And then if you want to use the keyboard, this is where things get really tricky. So to type, tapping with your thumb is going to do A, E, I, O, U. So those are your vowels, right? Now, if you want to do different letters, then you kind of have to tap two fingers. So that does D, that does M, that is Q. So as you can tell, this isn't the easiest thing to use when it comes to typing. I really can't see myself using this. There's lots of training apps and things that you can use uh, to kind of get used to this. Cool concept, uh, not very practical in my opinion. Uh, maybe if there's somebody who you know can't actually use a physical mouse and keyboard and wants to try this out, uh, that's gonna be useful for them. And uh, maybe if you're somebody who wants to try something a little bit futuristic, that might be for you. Uh, it's definitely not for me, unfortunately. Moving on, we have a box here. And uh, this is from Urbanista. Ooh, some headphones and some more headphones. Right, so we have the Milan headphones. So these have active noise cancellation and these are they kind of sit in your ear with a strap around. And then we've got some wireless on-ear headphones, the Seattles. Let's have a look at these Milans first. Okay, sitting pretty comfortably in general. The only thing I find with uh, some of these is they fall out my ears uh, pretty easily. What else do we get inside? All right, so I actually, we do get some ear tips. Uh, some of these ear tips have a bit of a loop as well, uh, which is gonna loop hook, whatever you're gonna call it. Uh, basically, that's gonna help them sit in your ear a little bit more comfortably uh, and make sure they don't fall out. I like that. There's a USB type A to micro USB cable. And then we've got this uh, nice little case here as well for these. All right, let's just go ahead and test these out. They sound pretty decent. Now let's have a, a look at the Seattles. Uh, nicely packed, I have to say. And these are a little bit green. Okay, not really my uh, color, but uh, I'm sure it will be for a few of you guys. Oh, they also come with a braided cable. So it's uh, if you wanna use these wide, you can use that cable. Uh, there's once again, the charging cable, some paperwork, and no case. Now I'm just gonna plug these into my phone because uh, I can't be asked to also set these up by Bluetooth. Sound pretty good. Some nice looking headphones from Urbanista. If you wanna check those out, they'll be linked in the description below. Thank you for sending these over. All right, we're gonna move on to this second big box, which is very big. Ooh. I'm gonna make sure I don't knock my camera over. These are some very cool looking speakers from Edifier. Edifier is, it, I, I probably am saying it wrong, but they look so cool from the picture. Let's see what they look like inside uh, for home audio with digital and Bluetooth input. We've got some key info here. We do have touch control. We've got Bluetooth 4.0, three inch bass driver and three quarter inch silk dome tweeter in each speaker. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Wow, these look very, very cool. They've kind of got a stormtrooper look because of the black and white. Will go very nicely with my desk setup. Right, so we've gone ahead and set these up. There's a cable that links both of these together. It's pretty long. See? There's a power adapter with a power cable which is gonna power these up. And then we've got a bunch of cables to connect these uh, to your audio source, whether that's your TV, your smartphone, uh, your computer, whatever it is, you can also connect these via Bluetooth. I've hooked these up uh, to my smartphone here and let's test them out. You hear that? I love this tune. 
But anyway, I'm not going to carry that on too long. Uh, there's a power button here and there's a volume up and down. And then if you press both volume up and down together, that's going to mute them. Uh, so touch controls along the side. We also have a remote control and a cloth, I believe, well, a few cloths to clean these up and keep them nice and shiny. Uh, thank you, Edifier. Again, I'm probably saying it wrong. Thank you for sending these over. What's in here? Oh, we have another camera. Uh, this is the three cam HBIB camera, worldwide control, motion detection, pan tilt, uh, Wi-Fi. I don't know if this is full HD or if it's 720p because uh, it only says HD, but anyway. Oh, okay. So this is much bigger. We also have an antenna here at the back, which I'm assuming is gonna give it uh, long range. Comes with some connections to actually plug this in. Uh, you can see that we've got all of these little LEDs here, which is gonna help it with uh, night vision and it can move around as well. I think you can actually move it around uh, with the app. And there's also an ethernet cable here, so you can actually connect this via Cat5 to your network. So you can also have a wide connection if needed and you don't have to rely on wireless. Right, we have something else in here. We've got smartphone accessories from Olixar. All right. Hey Safwan, we recently received a full range of accessories for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Wanted to share some of these products with you first. Cheers, let's check these out. So we've got a bunch of these cases here, as well as two curved tempered glass screen protectors uh, for the Note 9. As I was mentioning earlier on, uh, I've yet to come across uh, good screen protectors that fit nicely on the Note 9 without being too obtrusive. Uh, so I'll definitely be testing these out too. And this is the Sentinel case with screen protector. So this case is kind of designed around the screen protector so it shouldn't uh, kind of come in the way or anything like that. And if this works, I'm gonna be a very, very happy man. Uh, we've also got a magnetic air vent mount. And this is pretty cool. It goes into your vent and then you have a pad which you can uh, stick onto your case. And then as soon as you're in your car, bam, and there it is. So that's pretty cool as well. Thank you as always, Alexa, for sending all of these over. And that's all we have time for in this episode of Unboxing Time, Mystery Unboxings of Cool Tech. As mentioned, all of these products will be linked in the description below if you want to pick any of these up. If you want to send something yourselves, then there's going to be the address in the description below. Remember I mentioned that we do have loads more boxes, so there's going to be a second episode this month that's going to be coming up. If you want to see that first, then make sure you have subscribed and switch on notifications. Which product did you find most interesting? And is there any products that you'd like me to cover in more detail in Instagram stories and on IGTV? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do hit that thumbs up button for me. Thanks for watching. This is Safar on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time. And I have a lot of cleaning up to do.